Good evening to you. So, stop doing things for you. But before we go down that route, I want to tell you how you, in a roundabout way, are doing things for you or you should be doing things for you. So I've presented a concept to you before, which I'm going to be honest with you. When I first heard it, uh, I really didn't like it. Um, and now, well, I found a way to make it work for me. So it's the idea of putting your own mask on first. Now, if you're on an aeroplane and the aeroplane's going down or the emergency procedures, what they tell you is that mask is going to fall from the ceiling and before you can help anybody else, you've got to put your own mask on first because if you pass out, you can't do anything for anybody else. Now, when I first heard that, I really didn't like it because as much as, yes, okay, I understand the concept and I want to apply that to my life and I want to do things for me, well, at the same time, I've got kids. I'm married. I've got clients. I can't be putting my own mask on first and saying I need to do this stuff for me. So what the concept I came up with, I changed it and I changed it to suit me in that I said I'm going to stop doing things for me. So I no longer do things for me. I do them for somebody else. I keep myself fit and healthy so that my kids can have a fit and healthy dad. So my kids can have a dad that runs around after them. So now I'm not staying fit and healthy for me. I'm staying fit and healthy for my kids because if I get sick, again, hello, then who's going to be there for my kids? Okay, my wife's going to be there, but I can't be there and that, that doesn't fit well for me. If I don't stay fit and healthy as a husband, I can't stay fit and healthy for my wife. If I don't stay fit and healthy for my clients, then what kind of a role model am I to be telling them to stay fit and healthy? So for you, you might need to implement this same thinking into your life in that you stop getting, trying to get fit, trying to get fit, hello, trying to lose weight for you, trying to do things for you, and then failing because somebody else needs you and they take your priority in that moment. What you might need to do is say, well, actually, I'm getting fit for my kids. I'm losing weight for my kids because they deserve to have a mum or a dad, whatever, or even like a grandparent, right, or an uncle who runs around after them. They deserve to have a role model of somebody fit and healthy. They don't deserve somebody to have it. They don't deserve to have a role model of somebody who gets some nasty disease due to the fact that they couldn't move anymore because they hadn't moved, so everything got worse. So instead of looking at it that you're losing weight for you because you feel you should lose weight and you feel like you need to lose weight, start saying that you're doing it for them. All of a sudden, it kind of feels like there's a little bit more of an oomph to make you do it, right? I'm doing it for them. Food for thought. It's, a, it's an evening thought. I'm feeling a little bit ranty. If that's hit home, if that's hurt anybody particularly, if it's triggered you, uh, then I'm fingers crossed it's triggered you to actually go and make a positive change, to actually plan and most importantly implement a change in your life that means that you can be around as a, as a healthier person, as a stronger person and as a more well-rounded, both physically and most importantly mentally, rounded person for the people around you in your life, that you can be stronger, you can be more productive during your workday, you can less likely to have a breakdown during your workday, and especially if you're a parent, you know, it's that you're going to be there, you're going to see your kids through, you're going to be the, the parent that they deserve to have because you looked after you, because you showed them that staying fit and healthy was an important thing to do and therefore they actually you've set them up for life because you've taught them that being fit and healthy they're going to do it for their entire life as well folks hope you have a great evening i'm going to go home and have some dinner because i'm hungry but my workouts are done my clients are finished for the day and therefore so am i toodle pip